Yeah, I'm Otto. I'm a university student right now. I study in City University. So you can see right there, we are working on an underwater robot, which is going to have a qualification task next week, and it's going to US in, Ju in June. Yeah. The topic of the competition is outer world exploration. Yeah, just like go to Mars, go to Jupiter, because it's found, they found water on it recently, and they need a robot to test it on there. They have spent more than a week to figure out that why the motor is moving slowly. And there's some idiotic problem as well. Sometimes when the competition is coming up, I will skip my lesson or even some, I will skip some tests because I really love to have the robot running. When I start in the school, my GPA is not that bad, maybe just average. But when I start to get into the department and spend more time playing with robots and other stuff, of course my GPA decreases <laughs> rapidly. Yeah, and I fail many courses as well. But I think it's worth doing so because studying courses is very normal to all students. But having an experience on playing with robots is an extraordinary experience. And not everyone can get a hand on it. They completed a task, maybe. Uh huh. Not, not, not yet. Complete. Well, we gotta, we gotta look at the picture. You okay. have to tell me something about the picture. Okay. Okay. And yeah. then for the mission, you got thirty-five 30 right. points. Thirty-five, right? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Sixty-five. The kids that perform in this competition have no academic credit for what they've just done. My idea is I'm one of these people with a whole lot of others that are very passionate about keeping engineering alive in the form of practical engineering. The, the dream that we, we try to create here is really an ecosystem that can serve Hong Kong as a whole uh, for those students who want to know more, know more about opportunities and technology and they want to learn together and I think this is really our goal. My Apps Lab is the, the, the vehicle which is the suitable mechanism to push this idea out. Otherwise we just turn out people that are calling themselves engineers, but actually they don't have the practical experience to do very much. Especially in Hong Kong, we focus so hard on natural logs, on mathematics problems, on tests, on examination. They never taught us how to put things in real life. So what you have is you have academia that's taken over the entire process of education, and it's not working. You put kids, mold them into what you want, put them through exams and chuck them out. And we did that for the Industrial Revolution. And that has now finished. We get a lot of students enrolled in these sorts of programs and they are totally burnt out. They've had enough. They don't even want to go to school anymore. And then they get in this and it starts the process. Why do you need to learn about buoyancy? Why do you need to read that book? Why do you need to do that calculation? Because that thing's not going to work unless you do. When you just get into the university, you are empty paper and you don't know any technology or you, on any technique, but you can learn all these things in the team. We recruit people and we have organized workshops for them. We taught them things that they haven't learned or they won't learn in their courses. Some of them just find out that what they have learned is already the courses that they need to take two years later there's a great chance for them to learn in an active way rather than on a paper.